Okay, so to describe or demonstrate my lesson, um, for my lesson, I decided to do a fourth grade social studies standard about Amelia Earhart. Um, the standard for so the social studies part is G4.1.1, uh, history, dot people, and then Amelia Earhart. And then the ELA standard that I used is W.4.12, write routinely over extended time frames, time for re research, reflection, and re revision, and shorter time frames, frames, a single sitting or a day or two for it or a range of discipline specific tasks, purposes, and audiences. So basically what I'm gonna do for my lesson is the first week I'm going to introduce like who Amelia Earhart is. I'm gonna go through with my students and ask them if they've ever heard of important people in American history, specifically women. Um, I'll call on them to raise their hands to see if they even mention Amelia Earhart. If not, I'll introduce her. Um, I'll ask them like what she did to become famous and just if they know anything about her in general. Um, and then after that, I'll give my students an opportunity to write down some questions that they have about her. And then uh, we will be going over answers for that a different day. So what I have next for my lesson is to go on a field trip to the Amelia Earhart Museum in Atchison, Kansas. Um, I've actually done the tour myself and it's very informative. You learn a lot in a short period of time and it's really beneficial to kids. Um, but in the museum there's QR codes around. You can take your phone, like basically just line it up with your camera and it'll uh, start having this like a, a voice, a voiceover kind of thing, just a recording that will describe the object that the QR code is standing in front of. And so students will go through the museum, um, they'll have the opportunity to have a piece of paper, or write down any questions they may have, or just jot down notes about what they've learned. And then when they get back to class, we would read the book, Who Was Amelia Earhart? Um, and students will have the opportunity to answer some of their questions that they may have had, or write more questions that they have, and then be able to write those down. Um, for one of my activities, I'm going to have students partner up with another student and create a timeline of the events of Amelia Earhart's life. Um, what I'm going to have, like some of the things I need on the timeline are that it has to be at least 10 points, it has to be colorful, it has to be neat, it has to be presentable. And after, like while they're working and after they're done, I would ask the students like why they chose the events. Uh, why they thought those events were important and like why or why not they included certain parts. Um, and then to close this lesson, I would have the students write a two-page paper over the course of one week about the life of Amelia Earhart. Um, they can use information that, that they learned at the museum um, from the books that I have available and from the timeline they created. They will also have access to the internet to learn any information that they may need. Um, and so for the ending paper, I have students uh, list at least five events in Amelia Earhart's life. Um, I would need the students to use new vocabulary, which for my new vocabulary, I forgot to mention that. Some of my vocabulary I had was aviation, solo, route, and navigation. So students would need to use that in their paper and uh, explain why they believe Amelia Earhart changed society. So. Um, says describe what skills, knowledge, or disposition students will develop from engaging in this lesson. Um, I think students will learn a lot of communication skills. They'll be able to interact at the museum with each other and with whoever is um, conducting the uh, tour. And also, um, they'll be working with partners, so they'll have to communicate that way. Another thing that, another skill that the students will learn is uh, organizational skills. It's really important to be able to just list out notes as you go along, just so you can go back and see uh, what you can use for other assignments. Um, describe what role of significance place plays in your classroom, it plays in your lesson. Um, I chose this uh, place just because I actually went there this summer and I took the kids that I nannied for 
and they learned a lot and they were very interested because it's very interactive. You get to like go around, you get to be in the house that Amelia Earhart was born in. You can touch things that were in her house, like you can look at her outfits. It's just like really important for kids to be able to see what they're learning instead of just hearing about it. And I think they learn a lot better that way. Um, share what you learned from developing this lesson. I learned that it's very difficult to just plan it all out, to get all the standards to align together and to have so much detail. And when you think about it, like you really don't think that there's that much detail that needs to go into it, but you have to think out every single step of the lesson and exactly what you're gonna ask the kids. And I just hadn't put that together before.